I noticed that there was a, a, a nice Luke still with its retractable uh, lightsaber. I just got excited and instantly thought if I can get them for a reasonable price, I'm buying all of those. Wind it up. Oh, look at this guy, he's got bat wings. What? Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my shed. I thought I would put together a haul video. A good old fashioned, show you some stuff that I bought kind of video. I haven't done one of those in ages. Got all sorts of stuff spread out on here that I bought at the weekend. We went up to Norwich. There was a yard sale event on. Um, we got round, I don't know, maybe half of it. Probably not even half of it. There's so many stalls. But I bought some really interesting stuff. There were some really good pickups. Some that I'll let you be the judge how good they were. Um, yeah, some really interesting and cool stuff, including a little collection of vintage Star Wars figures from the first, you know, from the 70s, 80s trilogy. Really excited to find them. Did I pay too much? You can decide. Um, yeah, all sorts of fun stuff. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so let's start with Playmobil. I spent £30 on a whole load of Playmobil, but it includes, let me put you down and I'll show you, it includes a pirate ship, not just any old pirate ship, this one. Isn't that cool? It is missing a sail, which isn't going to help. It should have two sails, one for each mast. It only has one. But if I show on screen here um, a completed listing to give you an idea of what these can fetch, you can see there's some serious demand for these big uh, Playmobil pirate ships. Um, yeah, what I will achieve without that sail, I don't know. I do have a load of pirates and accessories to go with it. So maybe I'll still aim for up there at the pushing £100 mark. We shall see. So yeah, there's that. Um, there's a load of cannons in here. Isn't Playmobil cool? I was a Lego kid. I didn't really play with Playmobil much. It's falling apart. Oh. Um, more cannon pop up there. This is cool. Look, at the front, you have this, and then it spins around and becomes a skull. Anyway, there's that. And here's some of the accessories that we have. Well, figures, look. A bunch more figures. More cannon that will sit on deck. Treasure chests, all that cool stuff. So that's a really nice um, little lot. I'll put those with, with the ship and flags and other bits and bobs. So hopefully that will be getting up towards the £100 mark as a lot. So from my £30 investment, happy with that. But there was loads more. Now, if you've followed the channel for a while, you'll know I do like selling Playmobil figures and they, they don't tend to stick around with me, for me, with me. They don't tend to stick around for long. Um, so in that vein, we have, so part of this 30 pounds I paid for everything at the same stall. This is all horses. Instant bundle, probably a couple of bundles here. All Playmobil horses. Some um, I will add to some of these figure lots because I've got a bundle of knights. So there's a, one that will probably go with the knights. And oh, look, another one. This sort of stuff. People go mad for this. Now, aren't these things called a barding? Barding. Boarding? Barding. Mm, not sure. Anyway, there's loads in there. I don't know. 20 odd horses. Really nice. 
trying to see if there's any more with those uh, bardings. <laughs> Is it? There's one there with a bit of a fancy saddle. Anyway, that's an awesome bag full of Playmobil horses. Pop those back in for now. So the ones that I will bundle up with knights will go with this bag of knights figures. Um, if I can find a, a completed lot of knights, I'll just pop one or two on screen here if I can find them, just to give you an idea. Um, hopefully you just saw the, the sort of money you can achieve on little bundles with these figures. Look at this guy, he's got bat wings. What? I think the coolest thing. And we have little flags. And then there's what, I don't know, 10 figures in here. Most of which have all their weapons and helmets and very cool stuff. So I'll probably like I say, put the horses with those. So we'll have a couple of mounted knights and all of that. I can't remember, it's been a while, but that will go for decent money, hopefully. Then we have, what else did I grab? I can't remember. Oh, these look like Romans. So there's a lot here of Romans, I think, these like gladiator types. Roman centurions, maybe. Is that a, an emperor? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think there's eight there. Some with, uh, oh, look at that. Again, as I go through this, uh, hopefully pictures of completed listings will be popping up. Just to give you an idea, right? So you can keep this stuff in your mind. And then we have another bag here. Um, more knights by the look of it. And there's a horse in here. Oh, look at this. Oh yeah, this is good stuff. There we go, this sort of thing. So, you know, if you've got a Playmobil castle and you would like to um, get a load of knights to inhabit it, I'm your man. So yeah, really nice. And then this last one, I think these are Vikings. Have a quick look at these, but you get the idea. So 30 pounds spent, uh, the pirate ship and pirates should be an easy sale. And then these bundles of figures will go really well as well. So we don't have many at the Vikings. There's only four, but that's a perfect little bundle size for Vikings. Again, if, if I can find a similar listing, it'll be on screen here. So very happy to find some Playmobil for me to play with. Um, uh, next, I bought, now I kind of went on a whim with this. I just went on a hunch. It looked cool, definitely had some age. So I bought it, but I don't think it's as good as I perhaps hoped. Let me show you what I'm talking about. There's things in here, you might be able to hear them. This is a vintage, I'm thinking, 50s, possibly 60s, it's a picnic set. The type of thing that people who have classic cars like to have in the back of their car. There we go, is that not the coolest thing? Um, the brand is Siram, S-I-R-R-A-M. And if you look them up, they're not as expensive as I would have imagined. Um, I'm going to put this down and show you closer. So we have, these are all plastic plates. So we have some bowls and plates, three there. Uh, is it three? Three bowls, four plates, three smaller plates. Oh, these must be saucers for the cups. Now, most of it, I think, is the right brand. But some, I think, has been added at a later date. Possibly, I don't know. The flask looks good because it fits. That fits in there okay. 
sorry, I'm struggling to point in the right place. So there's a flask in it, which is Thermos branded, but I think that is correct. And then you have like this box that, I don't know, would you put sandwiches in there or cheese or something? I don't know. These, I don't think it's complete. There's just too much space. And there's also space here for maybe a couple of knives or forks. We do have some of the utensils, really nice salt and pepper uh, and mustard pots and the the case itself is quite nice i mean not the best color it's sort of a a beige kind of whatever kind of color but looking at completeds i'll put a couple on screen here you can you can take a look um the chap wanted 20 i offered him 15 and he took it so I'm going to do okay out of it. I'm not going to lose money, but from 15, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I thought it would be worth, but it was just too lovely to leave behind. So, so I grabbed it. I don't know. But anyway, I like it. I'm still glad I bought it. So by complete contrast from a 1950s or 60s picnic set, we have a huge collection of wrestling DVDs. I got to a stall and he had this these stacked up and I just saw them immediately and thought perfect bundle of wrestling stuff. Um, had a chat with him he said there was about 70 there he wanted 40 quid I came back at 30 he said meet me in the middle and you can take them away and that's what we did so I paid 35. Um, the condition isn't great. I have looked at a bunch of these. Lots of them have scratches and marks on. Most look like they'll be repairable. It's not the end of the world because I can use my JFJ disc repair machine, but it's just time and effort, which is a bit of a pain, but there we go. I own them now. I need to get them ready for sale. It also includes all of these steelbook editions, two the same in there. Um, they should go quite well. And a bunch of VHS. Um, I briefly looked some of these up. I don't think they're all that great. Uh, I might do a bundle of the VHS. We'll see. But at 35, that works out like 50 pence an item. I was never going to leave them behind. And there will be a few gems in here. Um, you know decent ones. Those that are more common and don't have much value, I'll bundle them up and they should fly out. Um, so quite happy with that, just slightly irritated that the condition of the discs is not great. So I'm going to have to put the time and effort in to get those polished and get the scratches gone. But yeah, that's that. I bought a bag of Duplo, I paid £5 for it and I haven't really looked in it. I have no idea really what's in there. Peeked in, saw that it was genuine Duplo. It was a fibre, it was coming home. Um, so let's take a look at that. So that's the bag. There's three or four kilos in it. Um, this was the bit that I picked out of the bag, just to have a quick look. Is it genuine Duplo? Yes, it is. It's got construction vehicles in it. Five pounds, absolutely. Um, so yeah, there's a little like JCB style vehicle there. There's a little truck. There's a fire engine. Uh, palm tree. Nice baseboard there. A couple more baseboards, kind of roadway ones. Not many figures. There's a couple there, construction worker. I think that's a fire fireman or fire person. Is that not sure? That looks like part of a train. That's from cars, isn't it? I think so. I wonder if there's any more. Oh, there's this guy. Is that the penguin from Batman? 
look at this. Jurassic World. I didn't know they did a Duplo licensed Jurassic World set. I'm just trying to check if it is. Yeah, look at oh. Drop in my dinosaur. It is genuine Duplo, so I didn't know they'd done Jurassic World stuff. There's a little dinosaur there. Don't know how much more of that is in there, but that's cool. Uh, there's another um, little car from Cars. I need to find its wheelbase. Another figure, motorbike. So it's a good lot. There's some interesting stuff in there. It looks like, oh, no, that is Duplo. Okay. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Huh, okay. I think that's Duplo. What I'm looking for is, is the word Lego inside the studs. Um, don't know if you're gonna be able to see, it won't focus. Um, yeah, that's how you can tell at a glance whether it's genuine. There we go. Anyway, so five pounds for all of that. There's some interesting stuff in there. Happy with that. At one stall, I bought a few little toy cars, which included this. This is clockwork. It's got a little wind up here. Might try it with the pair of pliers. Hold on. Wind it up. Oh. Okay, so the, the little clockwork motor is working. So it's a, a tank without its uh, tracks, which is a shame. Isn't that cool? It doesn't have its key to wind it up, but as I just showed, it, it is functioning. 50p. That was always coming home with me. Yeah, I like that. And then I bought a, a box full of plate stands. Andrea uses uh, plate stands just like this to stand her plates on uh, when she's taking pictures of stock. Um, so there's, I don't know how many of this sort of design. Plus, let me show you in here. The lady asked two pounds for the box, so I just thought, fine, yeah, whatever. Um, and then she was trying to explain how this sort works. So this part here, when you slide it onto this, it locks. And then, ah, oh, but you go this way and you would put it like there, for example. The plate locks onto these and leans backwards on that. So it's just a different design and you can adjust how upright that is, the angle. Isn't that cool? Anyway, so, however many's in there, 20 or 30, no idea. Two quid, they came home. I bought an interesting looking board game, Citadels. Bruno Feduti, perhaps? Yeah, fantasy flight games. I briefly looked this up, couldn't find any completed of this particular edition. There was an edition with an extra expansion pack um, that I'd seen completed on. Um, paid two, I'm probably looking at about 15, 20, something like that, it's quite nice. And then I came to a stall and the chap had all sorts of toys, um, figures, sci-fi stuff. There was a load of pop vinyls, but I know very little about those. Um, and then I saw laid out was a bunch of what I instantly recognised as vintage Star Wars figures from my era when I had some Star Wars toys. They were the 80s ones. Uh, well, 70s and 80s ones. And I just got excited and instantly thought, if I can get them for a reasonable price, I'm buying all of those. I noticed that there was a, a, a nice Luke still with its retractable uh, lightsaber. 
um, there's layer. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna forget half of these names now. I was, I did sit down and, and look them up. Um, yeah, interesting droid whose name. Yeah, I I, I did look it up last night. Can't remember now. You'll be screaming at me. Um, some Ewoks. These aren't particularly valuable. Anyway, there was there was twenty. Uh, I think it was about twenty five figures. He had some pretty bashed up. Um, Stormtroopers, it's super common anyway. I said, well, I'm not too fussed about those. Um, I reduced it to 20 and he wanted, as they were originally priced, he wanted 60 pounds. Um, I said, well, look, if I buy all of these 20, could you do it for 40? And he wasn't comfortable at that, so he said, 45, and I'll let them go. And I just went for it. So I paid 45. Oh, and to he was really not sure about that. And then I noticed one of them had a, a really badly damaged hand. can't remember who that was. And I said, well, let's take out that damaged one. And then, you, you know, anyway, we thrashed out a deal, put it that way. In the end, he was quite happy to move them in, in, in one go, and we settled on 45. So... Did I pay too much? So I've got 19 figures here. Let me show you the cut. I, on my brief research last night, sat down watching telly, just looking them up. There's a few here that are particularly common. Uh, now, names. Is that Klaatu, I think? These I'm just going to probably do a small bundle. Gamorian Guard. I used to have this when I was a kid. Uh, super common. Um, Chewy. <laughs> I almost forgot. Uh, now, is this guy, is that Forlom? Is it, maybe? Emperor. Uh, and this guy, I can't remember who that is. I'll probably lock those up. Um, I'll do some more in-depth research. Maybe 20 quid for those. 20, 25. Then, so I think the best figure in here is the Luke. Um, I'll pop on screen here. I think somebody got 30 for him. Um, that's probably what I'll aim for. So let's say I, I, I can get 30 for that and, and 20 plus on that little bundle. That's my investment covered, let's say. Then a uh, couple of Ewoks, they're not great. Uh, this one has its little um, bit of clothing on top there. Probably only 10, 12 quid for the pair, maybe a little bit more. Uh, this droid is probably about 10. Can't remember its name now. Um, yeah, a lot of these are kind of around the £10 a figure mark. This is cool. Look how small this guy is, little Jawa. Um yeah, possibly a tenner. Excuse me if I'm vague on the prices. I literally just sat there and typed these in and just looked at recent solds. Um, Biv Fortuna. Um, not much in him, really. Maybe a, maybe a tenner again. There's Han. And can't remember this guy's name. Is that Tuscan Raider? I think it is. So yeah, some of these are less, like maybe near a five or seven, but I roughly calculated that it's gonna be somewhere between 120, 150 sold. So at 45 pounds investment, it's not great, it's not amazing, but at the same time, I've already had a lot of fun messing around with these had a lot of memories from my childhood and it's it's not like work for me dealing with vintage Star Wars stuff um so the fact that maybe I could triple my money yeah I think I'm happy with that I don't know would you have paid 45 for those 19 figures let me know one of the first purchases of the day was a huge dinner set. 
um, I can't remember which brand it was, but it, it's good. It's a really good brand and we got it all for £15. There was some of it on display on the stool. And then she said, well, I've got loads more inside. Um, I only want £15 for it. So Andrea was like, yes, please. And then she just kept bringing it. I don't know how many pieces there are, but we think it's possibly hundreds of pounds worth. Not sure. So anyway, Andrea was buying that. I was rummaging through the ladies' media and I grabbed a few bits and then she said, we'll just make it 20 quid all in. Oh, I also bought Cards Against Humanity from her and maybe another board game. Can't remember. But let me quickly show you some of the media. This, as you can see on screen here, this is sealed, is about £25 on its own. This is Suspiria. Nice find. This I don't think has much value, but I wouldn't mind watching it. It's the Comic Strip Presents box set. Yeah. May watch that one first before selling it on. And then just some random... Uh, there's a sealed DVD there. Pink Floyd, The Wall, I've sold this a number of times. Always goes pretty well. I, I can't remember, maybe it's a tenor, something like that. Don't know quite what this is, but it looked interesting. Man of War. I assume it's a live double disc thing. DVD one and two. Interesting. Um, some more random sealed stuff. The Goob. What's The Goob? Looked interesting. And Pender's Fen, BBC thing on Blu-ray. So yeah, we were getting this uh, great big tea set. I wish I could remember the brand of the tea set now. Um, if, I, if it comes to me, I'll put it on screen here what it was. Um, yeah, for 15 and then all the other bits and bobs I found from that stall, she lumped in and was happy with 20 quid. So that was an absolute bargain. Really happy with that. Particularly when the Suspiria is likely to be 25 quid on its own. So there you go. Anyway, uh, that's the highlights of what we picked up at the weekend in Norwich at a yard sale event. I hope you enjoyed that. If you'd like to watch another haul, I'll put a haul up here from way back when. Check this one out. Until next time, ta -ra.